Hey guys, Brad here. It's Sunday afternoon. Uh, didn't get any, sh any work in the shop done yesterday uh, as it was so cold. So it's a, it's a nice 60 something degrees out there this afternoon. And I uh, figured I'd get down here after we got home and got some groceries and all that. We, I decided to come down here and try to get a little bit done. Right here you can see I went ahead and run the pop roots on the front of the filler panel there uh, off camera. Uh, pretty much got that that locked into place <clears throat> Next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna work on these fenders here the fender tops uh, This one right here wasn't terrible. It's just that the fact that where you make the stretch marks to give it the curve those stretch marks broke So I'm gonna have to replace that one as well. Uh, this one here. It was a uh, it was all jacked up so I done flattened it out the best I could and Gonna measure it and trace it out and try to get those built and uh would like to get both of them built today. Uh get them on there and then get the maybe the hood. I'm not sure if I'll get that far or not, but I know I know I won't get them fenders done today. So uh once I get them done I may move on to the floppers or the bat wings. I don't know. I, I try to like to do them last, that way they keep them all out of the way. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll see what I can get done today. All right, so you can see right there, I got the right fender top pretty well done. I like that, the way it's shaped up. I uh, may need to do a little bit of adjusting on it to get it to slide, turn left or right. But uh, if you hadn't seen a video that I done last year when I was putting body on that Longhorn, this is a pair of uh, shrinking tools from Ware's Machine. It's a very good tool to have if you're doing bodies or sheet metal work. Uh, it takes a lot of guesswork out of it as compared to like a like a stomp shrinker like from Harbor Freight or something like that. Uh, I don't like using the, I mean I've used them for years, but I don't like the uh, shrinker stretchers like that because when you do get in a wreck or you bend it, you can see right there, I mean that piece is tore. Uh, it just stretches the metal so much to where it does that and then there's no fixing this piece you got to completely build a whole new piece seems like that right there the way that works uh if you do bend it just a little you know i mean barring you don't just flat out demolish it uh it seems like you can kind of hammer them out a little bit and re-crimp them and it seems like it holds its shape a lot better but anyways that's uh that's where I've got there. So I'm gonna get started on the, the driver one now. Try to get it knocked out and uh, move on along. All right guys, so kind of finished up here. Uh, I know I didn't really do a good job of video on this, but basically finished getting the filler panel pop riveted on. Uh, I done the same thing to this fender top right here as I did to that one over there. So I didn't record that and basically just put it up against the two T-bars, bolted it up, uh, bolted the side fenders on, pop riveted them on, and just got the floppers stuck up there. I mean, I got a one bolt and two pop rivets holding that one on so that I can still, you know, if I wanted to move it in or out or whatever, I can still adjust it. Uh, got to do some work on this one. Not too crazy with the way it fits it's kind of you can see right right there it's real close to where the hood's gonna be so not exactly happy with that fit uh as far as the hole you know it it fits pretty good the way it's supposed to just gotta figure something out right there i ain't too crazy about that so i did get this this top here pop riveted on as well uh was so the next thing 
that I'll be working on will be the hood. Uh, instead of having to cut a brand new sheet of metal up for the hood, I've got a sheet of this right here. It's flat black. I've had it for a couple years now. And uh, what I done, I ordered some gloss black wrap that I'm going to wrap this with uh, to make it the same color as the rest of the car. I'll wrap it gloss black, then I'll go ahead and mark everything and, and cut it out and bend it up with the wrap on it. That way all the all the wrap will be folded underneath with all the corners and it'll kind of help hold it together and all uh, that way. And also, that way I'm not cutting up a brand new sheet of uh, metal just to get a hood out of it. And I'm not putting a flat black hood on it because I don't want to look like, like it's a cop car. Uh, so everything else be gloss black and then have just a flat black hood i don't want that but anyways uh oh uh, i think we're gonna call it a night uh, i've been trying to clean up a little bit getting everything getting all the little uh ends of the rivets up out of the floor and all the little sheet metal snips and everything uh if everything goes the way we're hoping dallas and maggie's gonna be down here tomorrow night and and uh, probably the rest of the week. It's supposed to be pretty nice outside this week. I think it's supposed to be in like the 60s. So they're going to try to come out tomorrow night. And hopefully with Dallas being out here, she'll be able to video more than what I have been lately. Uh, I'll still try to do the explaining like I have been here lately uh, uh, and, and try to get some more done than, than what I have been doing. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you hadn't already, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment. Come here. Say hey. Hey. Hey guys. Camera, you're old now and I still can't really walk. I'll walk if somebody's holding me. She'll take a couple steps if somebody's not. We ain't gonna let her do that out here. It's the way the place she busts her head open. Brad is working on the <clears throat> the hood he's already kind of giving you guys some info on that and i ain't done an intro video for today yeah i just don't know the night what i'm doing right here but anyway uh, oh i'll be doing the video tonight i know you guys have loved watching brad the last couple weeks i haven't been out here very much because me and magnolia have been inside been a little under the weather, so we've been trying to stay inside a little bit. The little girl's getting into everything. All right, so Brad traced that out, and now he's cutting that out. Are you going now? You figure it out. Uh, Daddy just throw that back in the floor where you can't get around. Uh -uh. Alright, girlfriend, go. Go? Go? Go, baby, go! Good job! I'm gonna put you guys on time up so you can watch him cut this out. So as you can tell, I said I was going to turn it on and watch Brad cut that out, but he obviously didn't cut that out. He just, um, he went ahead and wrapped it. So you got, you got to watch that. Well, half of it, most of it's done. Still got a little piece over there, but you can tell the difference. Let me walk over there and show you guys. There's the difference. That's the flat, which Brad's cleaning it up because it's got soap all over it. You got to run right there. Um. Oh, that's where you're going to lap it. There's one right there, there's a bunch. Yeah. Anyway, you can see the difference already. That's gloss, that's flat, of course. I mean, a blind person can see that. But, Maggie, what you doing? What you working on, go fan? What you working on? Oh, bye, see you later. 
I'm sure you guys, or I'm sure Brad's already shown everybody. They're showing you this. I haven't even watched the last couple videos. I don't even know what's going on. Huh? Oh, I don't know you talking about. But anyway, he's got the filler done here. He's got the fingers done. Looks like he's using the same side, so he was able to salvage those. Um, same side here. And then it's got new tops. Fender tops. I'm sorry, but my brain's not working. But anyway, so right now we're just putting the front end on the car. Trying to save sheet metal for the sides because we've kind of told you guys in the last couple of videos how expensive everything is. And I think Brad's kind of reiterated that several times over the last couple of weeks, him doing videos. So we're going to stay with this right here. I don't even think we're going to put any wrap on it. I think we're just going to go with it because it's really not bad at all. It's got a little scuff right here, right there. Um, it really needs to come off, but that would probably just stay. Maggie's running into everything. And then this side over here is beat up just a little bit. You can see, but nothing. We can't straighten up and face a little bit. It'll just, of course, still have the tire marks. And then there's the deck that he's got pulled out right now. I don't know what he's doing there. Kind of out of loop. Maggie's running. Oh, gosh. What'd you say? Go. <laughs> Leave that hot sun by day or two, be all right. She keeps sticking her finger in the middle of the <laughs> wheel covers. <laughs> in the hole in the wheel cover. <laughs> hey, what you working on over here? You working on tires? Hi guys, Maggie, Dallas here. Say hey. Hi guys. Oh. Hey. <laughs> What's daddy doing? <laughs> Chris and Brad working on getting this flopper mounted here. There's the hood, not on, of course. I'd love to see pop moves. Anyway, I gotta draw the holes for the hood pins and the um, carburetor breather. So we still gotta do that. He's just trying to get the nose where he wants it. With the new body rules coming out this year, there are so many restrictions on what you can do, what you can't do. So he's just trying to be sure he builds everything to spec. So no matter where we go or who we run with, what we do. <laughs> Um, we're gonna be legal. What'd you see? Huh? What'd you see? Say daddy race car? Daddy race car? Huh? Maggie. Maggie. Hey. 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 Wait, you ready to go? You point at the door. Tell daddy. Say daddy go. Daddy, she's blowing you kisses. Bye daddy. Daddy. There's the hood. It's fit up. So we've got to drill our holes for the for the hood pins. We kind of hit it with our hand there to make the indentions. Still got to put the new hood pins up front because they broke. And then of course, drill the hole for the air cleaner. That's all we're gonna get done for tonight. Uh, we'll be back. Be back down here tomorrow night. And try and get some more done. Try to get this knocked out and get this finished back up. Uh, I need to go through it and start checking everything as far as nuts, bolts, and uh, making sure everything's where it's supposed to be. So, uh, but we got both floppers on. They look good. Uh, like I said, this nose wasn't in bad shape. It was just, uh, they replaced it with a new one. So, 
we uh, decided to use it. It can be buffed around in a couple places and smoothed out. Maybe put a little wax on it. It'll look brand new. So, anyways, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe, and comment. We'll catch you guys tomorrow.